how to sell your cryptocurrency as good a price as possible on Bittrex. What I'm doing here, I'm selling some of my Bit shares, and we're in the exchange here. And rather than just selling my entire holding of Bit shares, I want to try and get as good a price as possible. Now I've noticed there are some trading bots here. So these are the bids. These are people willing to buy. So at the moment, uh, there's a bid in here at 99.5 uh, people willing to buy, or a bot willing to buy. Uh, 69,000 bit shares. So let's just click on the price and the quantity, and then I'm going to go over here and sell 69,000 my bit shares. And you'll see that that order will go through. So the order is placed and the order is fulfilled. Now we'll see this 995 will vanish once that order has entirely filled. Uh, perhaps I didn't quite get it. another order came in there. So let's. You can see what's happening in the price underneath. It starts to fill back up. Let's just f sell off the rest of those that 995. So they're now gone. So 993 is now the next highest. What you'll see is the bot will automatically start filling in uh, below this figure. Let's just sell at 993 as well. 77,000 at 993. Let's remove that 993 quantity there. So there we go, we're down to 987, but you'll see it will gradually work its way back. So 989, 990, 91, 92, and 93, 94. And those are the bots that are automatically bidding against each other to fill that space that's being created. So rather than me just selling out at say 97, I can wait for the bots to fill back up. And here we go back to 995. Uh, 995, it just dropped, it stopped out there. So Yep, there's, a, there's a, a bot that's testing it. It's placed the order, then removed it. It's placed the order, then removed it. See if there's any buyers there. So that's what it's doing there. 995, it's saying, are there, are there any buyers at 995 bidding against this other bot at 994? Uh, so let's just try and catch that 995 if it comes back in. Right, 994 has dropped out as well now. It's waiting for some buyers there. Let's see if it will go back up again. There's absolutely no trading on the um, sell side. It's all on the buy side. So 990, let's get it back up. I want to try and get back as close to 995 as possible, uh, which will get me the best price. It's being rather pernickety because the price is not hugely different. Here we are, we'll get back close to 995. So we'll go in at 994. Okay, let's sell those at 994. And there's a 995. We'll take that 995 order. No, it's gone out again as well. Just testing the market. So there's the 995. Let's sell those at 995. And we're gradually offloading uh, some of my holdings here and getting as good a price as possible. And that one didn't pick, so we, we can see it's come on the ask side here. Um, I'm just wanting to sell these shares whilst I'm live in the market here rather than uh, waiting and coming back for them. So I'll just scroll down and delete that pending order there. So that order is being cancelled. And let's see if we can get this back up to 995 here. Again, you can see the bots just bidding against each other. 988, 989, 990. So I think around about 94, 994. If we can get back there, then I'll be happy with that. Offload some more, I call them shares, cryptocurrencies. Offload some more bit shares. Okay, looks like 991 is going to be the limit on that. So let's just pop that order in. 991, sell those. So I'm putting a bit of pressure on the market here. Actually, it's not a hugely liquid market here. Um, selling off a fair chunk of my bit shares. It's building back up again. 981, 982, 983, 984. The auto trading bots are just placing, trying to see what price they can get. But anyway, I thought that was an interesting, uh, hopefully you find that video interesting to see how these uh, auto bots work. Might just do one more if it gets up at 993 or 994. It's hovering around 991. There's 18,000 there. I'll take those 18,000 as well, actually. Let's just sell those. And that's the order filled on those. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Please comment, please share. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Paul Hardingham from paulhardingham.com.